What's up guys, uh, welcome back, it's my boy Gia Adams Link, uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are very much doing okay. I honestly miss that introduction, you know, that introduction is personally, privately meant for Adams Link alone, but you know, since it's still the same guy now, I see me can introduce him here too as well. So, uh, guys, uh, of course, we saw the title of this video, and uh, I'm going to play you a video coming from uh, Asari Dokumbo. You know, honestly, I don't know the personal beef between Asari and the Igbos. So, if the Igbos in any way have wronged Asari, I think it's about time they go and apologize to Asari. If Asari is on your case, guys, it's definitely on your case. And uh, Asari is still has some evil blood in him, but according to the message we were trying to send out yesterday, he said that uh, it's, a job. it's a job blood that has removed all the evil traits in him. And in fact, he said the day devil was created, the same day evil people were created. And you know, evil people are feeling a lot of discrimination currently. Even in Lagos, it was alleged that uh, the Lagos State govern, uh, Government are uh, busy destroying Igbo buildings only. So all the Igbo buildings for Lagos State, now they the target. So we don't know whether that uh, that talk not true or not. Or I cannot ascertain. That's why I say allegedly. So I do not know. But that was uh, what is going on. Uh, people are insinuating. But let's listen to Asari Dokumbo. You never, an Igbo will never understand. Because an Igbo is created on the day Satan was created. The Igbos were created on the day Satan was created. Yes, I have Igbo blood flowing in me. But my Igbo blood has diluted this evil Igbo blood. Everywhere I look at it, everywhere is Igbo. They are the only people. They are not ashamed of themselves. In Liberia, they are not ashamed of themselves. In Ghana, they are not ashamed of themselves. In Thailand, they are not ashamed of themselves. In Malaysia, they are not ashamed of themselves. In Indonesia, they are not ashamed of themselves. In Pakistan, they are not ashamed of themselves. In India, they are not ashamed of themselves. Everywhere they go to, they take their evil with them. They claim they are Jews. That's why you are like that. No? You are Jews. That's why you are like that. That's why you are evil. That's why you can create with, 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 with Hitler. New allegation currently, because according to some uh, few allegations, they say Igbos are very wicked in the sense that they can't sell land to strangers. They don't sell their buildings to strangers. They only send their buildings and lands to Igbo people themselves. But they will go other places, buy major properties, and uh, buy lands from other people. Other people are willingly selling lands to them, despite them being strangers. But when it comes to them, they do not sell land to strangers. I cannot ascertain the credibility of the allegations, but let me know. If those of you are not Igbos and Igbos, have you ever noticed such scenario that when you go to Igbo land, they don't sell land there to you if you do not speak Igbo or if you are a complete stranger? But if they go on other places, they can easily settle down. They can easily uh, go about their businesses. Because as I then now, it was, uh, it was kind of like advised. If you go to any strange land and there is no Igbo man there, do not stay there. If you go any strange land and there is no Igbo man there, do not stay there. And I know Igbo for one thing, they like money. They if they do anything for money matter. They can sell their their brother based on selling money. So they like money well, well. I know that one. And other tribes do they still have their own uh, habit. So I'm not only talking about it, but now we are only discussing about Igbo. Wait till Asari Dokubo see with Igbo. Asari Dokubo gets Igbo blood. Now he say he job blood. Don't sweep away that Igbo blood come off for everybody. So <laughs> he has been on Igbo case since. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, so what is what is what is it with Asari and the Igbo people? What is it with Asari and Igbo people? And even recently, you know, Asari is not really happy with Tuno, but I don't know if they have uh, if they have ironed down iron out their differences because Asari said Tunubu is very, very uh what was the word he used though? He said bias when it comes to appointment. I solely appointed the Yorubas, the Yorubas, the Yorubas. And uh, you know, Tansari Dokubo was part of all those guys uh, who really stood behind Tunubu, you know, put his head on the line for Tunubu. So now I don't understand the you know, that is politics for you though. It's politics. That's how they do. That's how they go about their stuff. It's crazy. Hmm? <laughs> Igbo people, you guys need to refresh though, because this is not good for your political life, political career. If you guys want to be president, you guys need to refresh. Hmm? You guys need to start refreshing. Peter will be, you guys need to start rebranding everything. Start rebranding it. Because it's not looking good. Asari Dokubo speaking uh, about Igbo now will further damage the Igbo credibility when it comes to the uh, when it comes to politics. And again, you guys know I've already said I'm not going to discuss about politics again. And honestly, I'm not discussing about politics. But just few few, few stuff I'll be touching because my hands are off on Nigeria politics because it's uh, really downgrading, like discouraging. They bring me down. Discussing about Nigeria politics. Honestly, I'm not joking. It brings me down, seriously down. Over the past few periods, uh, for, for months now, the election and everything, uh, I get extremely discouraged. The court case and everything. So, Nigeria politics don't tire me, honestly. And don't come on hand for Nigeria politics. If they like, I saw this headline that uh, the state uh, governors and their budget and everything. That was a really, really catching story. I have so much to say about that, but because I don't talk, see, Nigeria politics, and me, and they don't get, uh, we don't stay for the same place again. That's why I don't really talk about that. Well, because I cannot be bringing all my emotions down to it. Politics is another ball game. Don't bring emotion to it. So that's why I don't want to start bringing emotion to it. So that's it, guys. So let me know exactly how you feel, guys. I don't know what Asari Dokubo and Igbo people so i don't know the fight between themselves so again let us touch on this mr abel's case again uh very dark man has advice <laughs> very dark man that was constantly clamoring that people should donate to uh to to mr abel is the one that came out yesterday he said people should stop donating to mr abel and the money they have donated is way far more than enough for mr abel to treat himself and again, they say the first wife, the only wife of Mr. Ebu arrested Jasmine, that is uh, Mr. Ebu's adopted daughter, and also Mr. Ebu's son. That was the story yesterday. The wife arrested Mr. Ebu's adopted daughter and Mr. Ebu's son. And honestly speaking, let us make this clear. Who are you going to blame here? Now, Mr. Ebu, me. Mr. Epo is a coward. I don't want to use the word coward. He's an irresponsible man. I don't know why you guys are pity him because of his illness. So, but that doesn't mean you know we talk the truth. If a man fails to take care of his own home, this is the kind of thing he gets. Let us point fingers to the person that actually is the head of this whole problem. Mr. Ibu is the head of this problem, and he's a, he's an irresponsible man. Very the irresponsibility of Mr. Ibu is showing. So I don't care what most of you think that pity. Do you know there are some parents out there who have done a lot of wickedness, like they have lived their life irresponsibly, and when they start facing the repercussion, seeing the is uh, the repercussion, people will be saying no, it will, it's not supposed to be so. It's supposed to be so. Apart from the illness, so I'm not saying whatever happened to him, the illness. So, but when it comes to everything that happened in his family. Mr. Ibu is to blame. But get all those other stuff. Mr. Ibu is to blame. So please forget uh, all those other talk. Mr. Ibu is to blame. Mr. Ibu is to blame. No, no, no other person again. Hmm? 
Many people should learn how to talk the truth, man. The wife, your wife arresting your stepdaughter, your uh, son. They are, according to what she said, they have siphoned 300 million from Mr. Ebo's account and they are using it to process Vita to travel out. All those kind of things, they don't hide now. They don't hide. And again, it was also alleged that the money even contributed by to Mr. Ebo is not up to 300 million. So, how did they say for 300 million from the account? People should stop donating. Stop donating to Mr. Ebo. Stop donating. The money is enough. The guy, the guy, a very that is, he is very, very responsible. If he's responsible, all those things, no good. Just the same way, Mobas parents, Mobas family are irresponsible. So he's not showing now their irresponsibility. The same way, when it comes to money, this is money donated by Nigerians, so may they not even get to. They, they, because of the love of the guy, they donate money. Me, my family, they fight for that money. And you can see they donate. Stop donating to Mr. Ibu. And Mr. Ibu will not seek again, say they will donate for her. Hmm. I don't pray me that guy seek again. No. But if God wants to expose uh, things, uh, he exposes it this way. That guy will not get donation from any Nigerian again. Because, he, because of his, if he is irresponsibility, he lies. On a normal basis, if they donate for you and you get well, you are supposed to assist the next person to get well. Carry the money, go and help the other people who are still in need. That is what you're supposed to It's not meant for your personal use. It's not becoming a sin by the time you take donation money and start using it for your personal use. It becomes a sin. It's meant to assist other people. What the hell? Uh, but they said the money don't pass like 100 million. 100 million. Now the wife, they told say that they said from the 300 million. And the mad, they did they, they chop on top of bed, they eat soup. Go, go chop from the go chop from the stepdaughter today. Chop. The, the, the stepdaughter will feed her today. The wife will feed her tomorrow. They don't they use that to your wife. Because the man, they irresponsible. But people know no angry talker. They pity him. Oh, pity you. Now, why the pity person may be irresponsible, irresponsible making no put the house in another? They don't fair donate for that time. He felt sick. They fed donate for her. This time again, and the other one. And the last one they fight for. Next time, I go able to advocate, make them no donate for her. I will lie. I mean, go able to advocate a pass. Say, make them no donate. You know, you know, you know, deserve any donation security from Nigeria. So guys, that's it. I'm going to catch you on my next video. Uh, see you next time. Peace.